Hey, what's up survivors and welcome to another seeds video. Um, this seed was not found by me, it was found by someone called the Pirate Captain who is on Punchwood, I'll link you to his profile in the description of this video and the seed he has found is pretty epic. Uh, I mean, even it was really, really epic. Um, so yeah, the seed is called Africa and we'll jump in. There is a lot in this seed, a lot, <laughs> a real lot. So here we are in the world, we've got some cows, um, let's just uh, get a torch, we're going to need that. Um, so yeah, it may not look like a whole lot, but the first thing you will notice is if you look over this way, there is an NPC village here. Um, this NPC village is very, very small, it only has three inhabitants. It's two in there, I think, and one over in this house. Um, yeah, so you can trade with them, that one wants... 11 emeralds for a compass? Are you crazy? What the hell? Make one easier than that. One emerald for six apples, that's not very good either. Um, where did the other dude go? There he is. Hello, chap. One emerald for five arrows, that, that's terrible. I could just kill a bunch of skeletons for that. Then you come across this feature. Ah, uh, it's nothing special, I just think it looks cool. Um, yeah, there's more cows, and there's this epic ravine here. But uh, before we get onto the ravine, I want to um, discuss... There's this desert temple here as well, I want to discuss this. Um, so yeah, if you break open this... Let's just light it up a bit. You have access to these fairly nice blocks, actually. If you break this uh, desert temple into, into here, you have... Um, let's just see, how many, how much stuff would you got? Um, three emeralds, that's always nice. Rotten flesh, iron ingot, another emerald, another set of gold, more gold and a bone. Um, out of this you would have got four chests, a bunch of TNT, um, five iron ingots, um, five zombie flesh, 20 bones, four emeralds, which is not bad, and 27 gold. That is not bad. So yeah, that's the temple, plus you get the whole bunch of wood, um, and yeah, so now let's get to the ravine, and now this is where it gets cool, um, by Minecraft standards, um, this is where it gets cool, you have this pretty epic cave system here, there's not a lot here, there's a great big hole down here, um, I'll leave a lot of this for you to explore yourself, but there's a pretty epic cave system down here. Um, and in this cave system, obviously, it links from this ravine. There's more this way. And, um, yeah, let's start with this ravine. Uh, over here, another cave system. Another, another bit of a cave branching off down that way. Let's start with this ravine. Uh, this ravine's pretty epic in itself. It actually cuts the mountain right the way through. It cuts that mountain. So if I just go and light all of this up, it, it's pretty epic. There's not a whole lot here, but... And more caves that way. And it is more up here. It cuts the mountain directly in two. Um, which is very interesting, I think. Um, yeah, so you've got this surface ravine, which is a good point to start from. Uh, there's more caves down here. There's a, And this is the second ravine, which I will discuss with you in a minute. Um, yeah, there's this down here, a really little type area. Um, you have this ravine which intersects with it. This is uh, the second ravine. Um, there's not a whole lot in this one either. Uh, there's a few bits in here and you've obviously... I think we are down on diamond layer here, are we on... No, we're not near diamond layer. <laughs> I just saw the lava and I thought, well, it might be diamond layer. But it turns out it's not and there's a... There's a little opening to the sky, but it's kind of just because it intersects with the other one. So you can light this up and yeah, there's there's more here. Not a lot, but there's there's some stuff. Um yeah, and that's that other ravine, the third ravine. Uh, there's another cave system back here by the looks of things, bits down there. Um but yeah, now let's get on to the third ravine. Um the third ravine is the epic one. Um if you look down here, we are obviously in a mountainous biome. There are two emerald blocks here. And if you go round here, somewhere there there is actually another emerald uh, so oh and there's more look there's another one here I thought emeralds were meant to be rare 
Um, and you obviously you're branching off into this big old cave system here as well, and there's probably more. But there's four emeralds there, just on their own. Uh, emeralds only occur in veins of one, by the way, so just be cautious of that. Um, or not cautious, but just just remember that. More caves this way and that way and all the rest of it. Um, yeah, so you got this ravine here. Um, obviously, you've got gold and there's even something down there actually. Oh, there's another emerald there. I didn't even see that. Got gold in here, redstone, iron, coal. So you've got a fair amount of goodies here. And it branches off into this sort of big area as well. So you've got a ton of resources down here. Um, so yeah, there's a ton of stuff down here. Well worth an adventure. Um, and now we get into a fourth ravine. Or have we already been here? No, we haven't. We have a fourth ravine. More emerald. A fifth emerald there. Um, yeah. The only thing that this, I guess, is missing is perhaps an abandoned mine shaft or a stronghold. There may even be one down here. It wouldn't surprise me. There are diamonds here. There's some diamond there. How many diamonds? Two. Is it just two? Three. Is that one there got one? Four. Four diamonds. So you've got four diamonds there. If I actually know, there's six there. Six diamonds. So you've got plenty of those diamonds. Um, so this must be diamond layer. Bet you there's some more down here if you look carefully. There's probably uh, quite a bit more. I, w I won't explore it all. I'll leave that up to you. Plenty of monsters. Um, more caves right down to the bottom level here. By the looks of things, there's more caves that go down and down and down. Um, right until you get to the very bottom. So it wouldn't surprise me if you found more diamonds and more emeralds down here, actually. It would not surprise me at all. Um, so yeah, that is that. And that is about it for this seed. I haven't found anything else, quite frankly. I wish I had, though, because then... The only thing it's really missing is an abandoned mineshaft or a stronghold. And uh, if we'd have had one of those as well, that would have been even better. So we've had four ravines, an NPC village that's tiny, um, more emerald, lots of emerald, <laughs> quite a few diamond down here, um, a temple. Um, so yeah, th th there is a ton of stuff that's worth exploring. A ton of stuff down here. Um, so I hope you enjoy this seed. Personally, I think it's a great seed. See if I can find my way back to the surface. Ah, here we go. Um, so yeah, it's fairly easy to navigate. And you will never, ever, ever run out of beef. I mean, look at the amount of cows here. There's, there's a lot of cows. There, there may be more. Um, I haven't found a dungeon down there. There probably is one, to be honest. Um, yeah, and it's all within good relation to the spawn as well. So it's not like you've got lots to go for. Um, so yeah, that is about it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, a like or a subscribe is always appreciated. And I hope to see you next time on the next video of Seeds. And until then, see you later and have a good day.